Hello guys and welcome back to part two of our tournament, the Bug Kai 2K from the Depths uh, tournament. Yes, today we're going to go ahead and continue with the semi-finalists. Uh, actually, no, we're going to continue with um, with two more uh, rounds, round three and four, to get to the semi-finals. And then we'll go ahead and wrap up the entire tournament today. Uh, I promise, I'll make it happen. And alright, so on to, the, on to the next round, round three. Uh, we have Clay with the Obelisk and Righteous Sinner, the Hellfire, with the tons of missiles. Uh, looking forward to the fight. They both want... Actually, Obelisk wants max range, and uh, the Hellfire wants minimum range. So we'll see. We'll see how that turns out. All right, here we go. Okay, Hellfire versus Obelisk fighting over the Rocky Peaks. Oh, someone's going to come crashing down eventually. Oh, 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 oh. Righteous Sinner is exploding. Uh, his missiles are still going, but he is... Oh, my God. Goodness, he always has the best explosions ever. I gotta give it to him. <laughs> I mean, like, I mean, as a compliment, not as like a smart alecky. Uh, oh man, look at him go! But his missiles are still tracking to the target. Oh my goodness gracious! Wow, how are the missiles going to hit? How are they gonna hit? And then he ran out of fuel. Oh, oh, they, they ran out of fuel. Oh man, wow. And uh, is he going to fall upon the uh, the smashy rocks? Uh, no, he's going to miss the rocks. But, okay, that was that was pretty crazy intense. Um, all right, round two for these two. Okay, spawning in Clay's obelisk in second this time. Righteous Sinner a lot closer. Oh my gosh, these lasers are just like... That's exactly what they are. Okay, fantastic explosion in progress. Uh, if I have to put my money on somebody winning this tournament, it is Clay. Definitely Clay. Ah. Uh, I'm, I'm scared to death of his machine spinning around of death. And, uh, and also, I, I think I mentioned or I posted somewhere that uh, the winner of this competition will be in my Let's Play. And uh, I kind of hope it's Clay because that thing is some mean stuff over there. <laughs> that's, a mean, that's a mean deal. But we'll see how he does against everyone else. Okay, he is moving on to the semifinals. Congratulations, this thing is a powerhouse. And it's very cool because it spins around. It's so, it's so like, creative. It's so unique and creative. I mean, well... If something hits an engine, he may be kind of, he may be in a real tough spot, but I'm guessing he has ammo barrels stacked in here to where people will be shooting, like, at the center of his mass rather than, like, near an engine. So I think, I think he's going to get away with it. Okay, all right, so on to the next round, Kaz versus Davy Sire. Okay, and here we have two natural enemies, Don't Laser Me Bro versus the Ugly Duckling. Who is going to, uh-oh, uh-oh, already, already right off the bat. A uh, little explosion, but I think that explosion was a good diversion. Oh, looks like we got our explosive rounds going ahead. Uh oh, darn! <laughs> so it looks like we have an, uh, the eraser gun, erasing straight from the center. Uh, those shells are just bouncing off. Oh, there's some shells connecting. There's some shells connecting. Yes. Oh, uh, he's drilling in there somewhere with that. Oh, laser's gone. Laser's gone. Who would have thought that? Oh, it's just. Oh, what the heck was that block? There's like a weird block on there with like lasers. Okay, yeah, so look at that work being done. Oh, total upset. I know, total upset. All right, so what kind of damage did he do to... He just kind of drilled straight through here with that little laser thing. All right, we will do another Ugly Duckling versus the... Uh, versus Don't Laser Me, bro. One more time. Okay, since both of these guys did not specify a range, they said any range is good. I went ahead and did a short range, and now I'm doing a little longer range. And we'll see how the results are. So, right off the bat, that same ammo barrel is blowing up for the uh, Don't Laser Me Bro. But these explosive rounds, some of my favorites, explosive slash armor piercing, are just going through here. Nicking, nicking that laser right in the front. Oh, see? Oh my goodness. That is some destruction. Look at that. Laser cannon is down. It's just down. So maybe it pays to have a little bit of inaccuracy in your projectiles so they don't always go for the spot your enemy wants them to go in, which is like where people put ammo barrels. Um, because that little deviation of his shots ends up hitting other spots that people don't want to hit, like, you know, the gun per se. So look at that. Maybe another shield would have, uh, would have went ahead and protected the ugly duckling. But this guy's a house. He's, he's, a, he's a monster. And look at all these shields he's got, just like crews in here. See, like that's the, that's the benefit with cannons too. They don't use up that much uh, electricity to uh, or power to go ahead and generate ammo. Uh, so you have more power to go ahead and put towards uh, more shields. And look at him. That's amazing. So we have Don't Laser Me Bro going to the semifinals. What an upset! I know. I thought Mr. Eraser Gun Ugly Duck was gonna go ahead and do it, but he didn't. All right, so. 
Next we have, oh, next we start the semi-final. So here is the, uh, here's the results right now. Let me go ahead and post them up so you guys can see. And, uh, yep. So next battle will be the Ponderous Hamster versus the Storm Lord. Ooh, both, uh, both mean contenders, both flyers. Uh, I guess I'll set this over the, uh, over the mountaintops. So if, if anyone comes crashing down, it'll be, uh, it'll be a nice crashing down. <laughs> So here's a quick little look at our at our next two semi-final battles here. Uh, we have the Ponderous Hamster with his uh, rotating huge heavy cannons. Uh, I find this to be a very good design because he's shooting whether he's approaching or whether he's leaving. He is shooting all the time with his cannons. Huge explosive rounds. Some missiles for, uh, for I, don't know, just, I guess for a little bit of flavor. Uh, and then we have him versus the Storm Lord. Now, Storm Lord's pretty mean. He's went ahead and, yeah, he's got this huge laser that I haven't really seen do too much damage, but it does enough damage either forward or up top to go ahead and down something for his uh, huge massive array of missiles to go ahead and, and take care of the rest. So, uh, so yeah, there's, there's not too much cheese here. It's very practical, a very good uh, design, I would say. Uh, very stable. This guy's diversion, uh, explosive barrels for for if you guys didn't catch that last time I was talking about that. So, so yeah. So these are very good, very good ships. I really like them for this competition. Then we have the Don't Laser Me Bro. This guy is very straightforward, and I like him a lot. I like his style a lot. He's a very, uh, he's kind of like an inspiration to all of us uh, in terms of like in terms of who's better, lasers versus guns or missiles. Uh, I, 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 ho I hope that he, uh, he does really good, and I hope he maybe even wins. We'll see. I mean, his rounds are pretty explosive and pretty crazy. And let's just see under here. Okay, so he has an ammo barrel right in the front. Not sure. Okay, it's pretty much in an area that can take a big hit. And, yeah, and he has ammo barrels all around here, which seem pretty cool. I mean, we've seen before, these are the barrels that usually explode right off the bat. But he keeps shooting, I mean, he's fine, because, I mean, you know, guns are pretty, uh, they're pretty low, uh, low maintenance. And even if you blow up all the ammo supply on the ship, they'll still shoot what's, what's inside their actual ammo boxes. So, uh, so yeah, so that was pretty cool. Guns are, uh, guns are very tough. Now, where's the obelisk at? Oh, there he is, <laughs> flying, flying in outer space. This, this terror, this monster, uh, is, is not holding anything back. Oh man, I'm just like dying to like take a peek of like what's in there, but I don't want to spoil uh, you know his his secrets and his uh, his research strategies. I know he had many designs on this, uh, Clay did, but uh, but yeah. So we'll go ahead and leave that to be a secret. All we'll know is that this is a huge death machine that requires much respect, and uh, yeah. So these are our finalists. Let's go ahead and do it. First round is yeah, Ponderous Hamster versus the Storm Lord. <laughs> oh, who's gonna come out on top? We'll see. Okay, Hamster versus the Storm. Who is gonna be on top? All right, we got our cannons shooting off pretty slow. Uh, oh, there's already an explosion. Shoot. Oh, it may be that laser from the. Uh, oh, that laser. I didn't give that laser enough credit. Yeah, Storm Lord's laser is pretty tough. It's tough. And the missiles are, I guess, just for show. <laughs> oh my gosh. Woo! Oh wow, look at all that. Oh, he disappeared! He disappeared, he pulled a Budkai and made him disappear. Okay, wow, all right. Well, all right, let's, let's do a, uh, I really wanted to, oh yeah, no crashing or, okay. All right, round two. Okay, spawning the Storm Lord in second this time around. So he has a little time, oh, <laughs> uh, okay. Let's go ahead and take a look at this from Storm Lord's point of view. Oh boy. Explosions. Oh good, so it looks like the anti-missile defense worked a little bit for, uh, okay, for the hamster. Well, uh, but hamster, hamster's having a hard time. He's having a hard time. He's like, no, no, I'm not made for this kind of, this kind of nonsense. It's too much. It's a hole right through me. It's crazy. Oh, look at that. Missiles missed. Ha ha. Ha ha, they missed. Oh. Oh, come on. What, you don't like hamsters? Nah, I guess Storm Lords don't like hamsters. Okay. Alright, well at least at least we get to see him crash this time. Is he gonna crash? Yeah, come on. Come on, hit them rocks. Hit them rocks. Alright. Well Okay, it looks like the Storm Lord Soul Sphere is uh, is moving on to the next to, to the finals, to the final rounds. Uh, who will he fight? We will find out, but he is he is our previous champion and looks like he is yet again not taking any prisoners. I mean heck, he just wants to shoot. He'll shoot at the ground. He doesn't even care. He's like he's like, even if there's no target, I'm an angry. I'm an angry storm. And I'm gonna blow up that little camel hump right there on the mountain. Yeah, so Oh, is this fight still on? Yeah, let's watch. Nah, alright. Okay, so we will move on to the next round. Um 
Yeah, it's the uh, it's the uh, obelisk. Oh my gosh, that thing's a monster. Obelisk versus the uh, don't laser me, bro. I want don't laser me, bro, to win this. I want his his serious Daka to go ahead and just like disable everyone somehow, some some awesome way. So, okay, next round. Here we go. Okay, competing to get into the finals. Obelisk versus don't laser me, bro. What does don't laser me, bro, have to say about this? Oh, he's letting loose a ton of shots, ton of Daka. Shooting and shooting and shooting. Oh, one gun seems to be down, but the shots are making an impact. Look at him go. Oh, baby. Oh, look at that. No way. <laughs> what a total upset. Are you kidding me? Who's exploding? <gasps> Is Clay exploding? What's going on here? Are you kidding me? That laser's shooting. It's hitting him, but somehow it's not really damaging. Uh, oh, no way. No way. Look, the Daka is still flying. He's hitting his underbelly. He's down in the water. How many guns still? Two guns shooting. He may be running out of ammo though because... No, he still has ammo barrels. His engine's still running. He's still moving. Oh, and look at what we have here. I would have never... I would have never thought... This whole thing is a big upset. Yeah! Oh, looks like the explosive rounds are still making an impact underwater. Looks like this round goes to the Don't Laser Me Bro. Look at that amazingness. Ah, yes, the power of bullets. I love it. Okay, spawning in. Don't laser me, bro, in second this time. Let's see if that makes a difference. Got some lasers coming on in here on Don't Laser Me, bro. Don't seem to be doing that much damage. What is his secret? Oh, he's just got, like, a bunch of uh, a bunch of thick plates over his guns. Seem to be doing the job. Um, oh, and the obelisk is taking heavy explosive damage. Oh, that's right. Looks like one of those engines I was thinking about. Actually, yeah, they, they got disabled on the side, so now he's off into a wild spin. Because those engines were just like out in the open that kept his uh, rotation going. So yeah, so as soon as one of those guys goes down, then he's kind of like in, a, in an awkward spin, crashing down. Ah, I'd be darns. So maybe next time he should defend his, uh, his outward, uh, outboard engines a little better. But look at that. Look at this guy. Oh, okay, so one cannon's not working. Oh, yeah, he got, like, totally messed up right around here. What about his, uh, PCs under here, his computers? Yeah, computer brains are working pretty good. Wow. Looks like this armor plating in the front really helped. Look at that. Just a little bit of armor plating and, uh, some shielding. Incredible. I can't believe it. And here's the obelisk. Oh, oh look at the bullet. See, look at that, that bullet dampening. It really slows him down a lot underwater. It's one of the reasons why I, I didn't want subs in the competition, because if you actually have a sub, it's like, basically have an invulnerability shield around you uh, while you're underwater. But yeah, it looks to me like the obelisk is not going to be repairing itself, so how about that? What an upset. I totally thought he was going to win it. Alright, so, don't laser me, bro. Moves to the finals. Yeah, can't believe it. Crazy. His guns are like, oh, I want to shoot down. I, I want to get him, but you're too close, you silly bean. Alright, so... Let's do the third place fight. Let's do it now. Here we have Hamster versus Obelisk. They both wanted max range. Spawned in the uh, Hamster in uh, second. Let's see how... Oh, another, another show of explosive rounds. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Go to work. This is the battle for third place. I know uh, Clay has gotten third place last time. But it looks like this is some serious... Explosive rounds going here. These rounds just really penetrate through his uh, through his super thick hull, uh, and and yeah, what what the oh see and look at that. These the placement of these guns is genius because he will always be firing. Uh, oh look at that. So whether he's below or on top, it don't matter. What a fantastic design. I might have to copy that, Mr. Hamster. Okay, or CERN. <laughs> All right, so let's do uh, best two out of three. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Last shot for the obelisk to show what he can do. Let me go ahead and take this from his point of view. He's shooting wildly at the uh, at the hamster. I have him at super range right now. Looks like the hamster... Oh, he's beginning to shoot. Okay, he is shooting and shooting. Oh, looks like the obelisk is going... Oh, he's taking his hits. Oh, uh, he's shooting. Is he is he hanging in there? Oh, it's a, it's a... Oh, looks like he's crashing. Looks like he's getting brought down. Something happened there. But his cannons are still shooting because they're rotating like that. That's pretty wicked. And it looks like the obelisk has an engine down somewhere. Yep. So he's doing his wild rotation. Showing his underbelly. If his lasers get taken out. Oh, oh my goodness. Let's go ahead and get a view like this here. So we can see both of what's happening here. 
Getting hit by some explosive... Those explosive rounds? Oh, looks like it hit a laser. Oh, the laser's kind of digging in on himself because it got kind of destroyed back a bit. But it looks like the obelisk, I would say, has this one. Looks like he has this one. I mean, he's, he's floating around a little weird. Oh, I hear an explosion. Yes. Oh, look at that. Okay, so just barely. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, here we go. All right, now the lasers. Okay, so the lasers on the... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let's let's take a look. Oh, this fight's not over. It, well, yeah, uh, yeah. No, I think it's over. <laughs> oh. Oh, come on. Oh, there you go. You got it. He's not shooting anymore. You got this. Just repair up. Come on, hamster. All right, so, yeah, it looks like... Yeah, yeah you got some lasers flying. It's kind of in an awkward spin still. Can't quite seem to recover. I wonder why. Oh, I see. So this whole area is blown up. So he lost one of his uh, stabilizer engines for the top, which means he can't quite aim. Even though his turrets are rotating correctly, he can't quite get an angle to shoot that low right now with this kind of uh, weird rotation. <gasps> and the hamster's back up. Are you kidding me? Oh, no way. Hamster's back up. No way. But a hamster, I don't think, has any uh, weapons, though. No <laughs> way, he's, he's, uh oh, yeah, he's flying right into the range of his lasers. There's no way he can build a weapon fast enough. Maybe if he rams them. That could be his new strategy, if he rams them. I don't know what the heck he's gonna do, unless he has, like, mad amounts of, like, repair bots on here, which seems like he does. Seems like he's repairing pretty darn fast. <gasps> he's shooting! There's, like, a gun I heard shooting. Oh. Uh, I can't believe this. This is, like... Oh, and the obelisk has an awkward spin still. Oh, no way. No way. It's all coming down to the line here. This is for third place, people. Third place. I can't believe they got a gun working on, on the hamster. No way. Oh, this is this is outrageous. Oh, and the missiles are flying. I forgot he had missiles, too, as a backup. I can't believe it. I almost, almost called this. I almost called this whole fight a little a bit too early. Glad I didn't, glad I didn't cut out. Oh, and he's ramming! Let's see that ram damage! Oh, man! No way! And the cannon's just shooting into his insides, right into his engine. Both going down in a, in a blaze of glory? I don't know. Oh, yeah, no, it looks like the obelisk is done. Maybe. You kidding me? This is like the most epic fight ever. Okay, alright. Well, his lasers are like pretty much gone. Uh, he's still shooting. Hamster's still shooting. Yeah, it looks like the hamster's gonna have this one. He's still shooting, still operating. Obelisk doesn't even seem to be, uh... Oh, uh, yeah. There we go. Incredible. Yeah, look at these cannons. They rotated around just enough. And, and as they repair, they're gonna go ahead and, uh, be even more improved the more t uh, time goes on. So yeah, the hamster has won it. The hamster has won third place. Congratulations, uh, CERN, I believe. Yeah, CERN with the ponderous hamster. Look at that. Unbelievable. Okay. All right. Well, congratulations. Uh, on to the final round. Our champions will be decided. Our champion will be decided next. Hey guys, before we get on to the final battle, uh, I'm going to go ahead and announce the next tournament now, so you guys can uh, easily know when it is. Uh, it's going to be October 10th. And uh, it's going to be a 3,000 block heavyweight tournament. And uh, with all the same rules as, as we've been using before. And also it's uh, vehicles only. Everything has to be AI controlled and no submarines. And, uh, and every weapon is available. Uh, you could use build whatever the heck you want. Whatever you can dream up. And uh, your limit is 3,000 blocks to build. And just as a tip, these uh, beams right here are uh, count as one block even though they take up four blocks worth of space. That's a, that's a little... Uh, tip right there. So yeah, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be epic. October 10th, and I'll leave all the details in the description below. But uh, now, we are on to the final round to decide our champion. Okay, Stormlord versus Don't Laser Me, bro. Okay, bro. What's going on? Oh, oh my gosh. I forgot he's got like a billion missiles, too. Okay. So it looks like the missiles are taking the bait of, uh, yeah, uh, okay, we're still shooting. Look at this. Still shooting. What's going on here? Okay. Oh, we got the... Look at this. Look at them crazy explosive shots. Oh, ho, ho. All right, one of them connected with the uh, decoy explosive barrels. 
And that had no effect? Oh yeah. Looks like those decoy barrels are working awesomely. Oh! But I don't know. Oh, look at that. Stormlord just taking some serious hits. Oh, but is he going to be at a bad angle for, uh... No? No? Oh? He's not even shooting his missiles. He's taking a pounding from the Don't Laser Me Bro. Look at it, making a statement here. Just making a statement. Oh, gosh. Don't Laser Me Bro is just like... He's like, bro, don't laser me. <laughs> so he's just, he's just like unloading. He's just like cracking that laser right in half. Look at that. Look at that laser. He's going to get cracked in half. I can't believe it. What what another upset. This is this whole like competition's been like upset after upset. Cuz everyone thought like lasers were like OP. Well, we still don't know who the winner is. Maybe the next two rounds will go differently. And even this round's not even over yet. But it looks like it's pretty over. <laughs> he just got like right in his face. He's like, "I need to get a little closer." I need to get a little closer. Okay. Wow, I can't believe it. All right, so don't laser me, bro. Has disintegrated the Storm Lord. What? What? Look at that. Whoa. Okay, bros, you ready for this? Ready for this, bros? Okay, I spawned him in second this time to make it fair. Storm Cloud is turning right around. Okay, all right, there we go, there we go. Oh, he's gaining some altitude. Oh. Oh, he's gaining some altitude. Oh, he's gaining some altitude. Where are these missiles going, man? Where are these missiles going? Oh my gosh. Okay, so, yeah. Once again, his decoy explosive uh, barrels are doing a good job. Missiles coming in. Coming into... the Bro, I tell you what. I tell you what, those decoy ammo barrels, I'm not sure. Oh, looks like there's a ton of missiles here just waiting to be, uh... To waiting to come on in. I tell you what, though. Don't laser me, bro. It's a tank. It's an absolute tank. Kaz's design is quite amazing, quite amazing. A uh, big flat piece of shield and big cannons. I can't believe this. I can't believe my eyes. Look at this. Look at this. Wow. Look at the mighty Stormlord. It's, it's floundering. Floundering like a big crazy banana in the jungle. Off a tree. No, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, this is, this is crazy, guys. It looks like, um, it looks like we have a win. Do we have a winner? Yeah, he's he could just sit there all day shooting. He's not even is uh, the storm cloud uh, storm lord's not even shooting his lasers or missiles or anything. Oh, wow! Look at that upset, absolute upset. We have a winner, everybody. I'm gonna go ahead and call it now. We have a winner. We have a winner. It is the most insane, crazy shooter with only one gun shooting. <laughs> Wow. Okay, guys. Well, it just goes to show you that I guess you don't really need lasers to win. Uh, although lasers are very powerful. But... Actually, we have to let this play out a little more. This this uh, this fight isn't over yet. It's not over yet. I mean, it, lo it looks like it's really over yet. But then, you know, I've been proven wrong before. There's something over there. I think a whole bunch of missiles in the water by the uh, Don't Laser Me Bro have... Uh, Went ahead and exploded underneath him. But, so we shall see. Uh, uh, he lost a big piece right there. He lost a big piece of stuff. And he's kind of like, in the water, kind of helpless. And he's still shooting. He's still shooting. Are there any missiles, any uh, sharks in the water here? Nope. All, all damage that could be inflicted on this guy are gone. He's not even moving. His engines are totally shot, kind of. But he's shooting, I think he's still shooting because of the auto ammo generation. Oh, there's an explosion over there. Yeah. Okay, guys, that's it. So, don't... <laughs> I can't believe this. So, don't laser me, bro, is the champion. Um, yeah, Kaz's design is the champion of the Budkai 2K tournament from the depths. Yes, he's the champion. Uh, with uh, Stormlord in second place. And uh, the Ponderous Hamster in third place. Good job, CERN, for, on that one. So, yeah. Okay, guys, so I will see you guys at the next tournament. Uh, like I said, all the details are below. Just go ahead and send me your, um, your ship uh, data file uh, to my email uh, by October 10th. And then we will do the next tournament, the 3K tournament. Till then, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.